Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you an easy way to farm blood echoes. We're in the lecture hall and to be able to get here, if you don't already know, you need to get the tonsil stone from Patches of the Spider and then get grabbed by one of the amygdala and you'll get teleported here. Very easy to do, it's a very small area. All we need is bold hunter's marks, which you can see I've got a couple in my inventory there. There's a door on the right here, you want to ignore this one and head a bit further up. Then this door right here is the one we want. So as you say, I can poke my head into the room, lots of enemies, let them get see us, get their attention, then I'll just stand outside. And if you stand right here, they just funnel the way through the door and you can just take them out as they come through. It is made a little easier if you've got a weapon with a bit of range. I'm using the rifle spear. The only thing you need to watch out for is some of the, as you can see there, there's an arm poking through. Some of the grafty attacks can actually clip through the walls. But they don't do a great deal of damage, so it's quite easy. You usually get somewhere in the region of about 10,000 to 12,000 blood echoes. Um, if you're using the moon rune, then obviously that'll help as well. So yeah, really quick, dead easy. Come in, there's a couple of stragglers here on the right. Up to you whether you take them out, I normally do. And then that's it. That's the run done. Pop a bolt hunter's mark and reawaken back the lamp we started at the beginning of the run. And that's all there is to it. You can do this as much as you like and it's a really easy way of farming blood echoes. Thanks guys and stay tuned.